Hello, welcome to Zima Redesign. Let's create fabric appliques from fusible scraps. Inspired by Mark Montano's beaded postcards, let's create this sweetheart boho bag. I save all of my fusible scraps from other fusible projects in this large container. So I'll begin by sorting the colors that I want to use. I'm going to sort reds, pinks, and purples. My background fabric, I'm using some inexpensive muslin and it's going to be lots of layers on this, so it's okay if it's thinner. I'm going to start by, by fusing down the largest pieces first and then I'll just continue to layer all my fusible pieces on until my muslin is completely covered. Then I'm going to add a variety of decorative stitches and lots of different coordinating thread colors just to add more detail. And then to make the fusible, I'm going to trace the shape that I want, in this case hearts, onto the paper side of the fusible web. I then press that heart shape out onto the back side of the, of the fabric that we've just created. And I'm using lots of different sizes of hearts and I'm going to now cut those out. Next, I'll remove the paper side of that fusible. And my shapes are all ready to go. I'm going to use some other sh uh, shapes as well that I have from a previous project, made the exact same way. So to create the boho bag, I'm going to piece some six inch squares and three and a half inch squares. And I'm gonna fuse that to a foundation pattern piece. Adding some decorative stitches, again, in the, the variety of thread colors. And now I'm going to cut out my bag pattern. I lay out my new fusible shapes onto the front of the bag pattern. And once I got it the way that I like it, I'm gonna stitch all around that with a zigzag stitch. I'm now adding my sequins, my beads, some embroidery floss, and I'm going to uh, glue with E6000, I'm gonna glue some flat gems on there, the flat back gems on there as well. On the back of the bag pattern, I added decorative stitches, embroidery floss, and sequins as well. For the two lining pieces, I added pockets as well as a magnetic snap. And now I just pieced on my bag together and this is the finished project. And that's the back of the bag pattern. And I'll leave a link in the description below on how to make these. And also a link to Mark Montano's beaded postcard patterns as well. That's the inside of the bag with the heart fabric. So just for that Valentine's Day date, our Boho Sweetheart bag is all ready to go. Thanks for watching.